In this video, it's the cheapest, longest lasting fragrances that you can buy on today's market with a lot of older titles and some new ones too. As the list continues, I put all the analytics together to upgrade your lifestyle. If you watch it till the end, you'll have the top three because the list is presented from good to great. We're gonna start today with Yoop for Om, a viewer named Frankie O. He lives in Chicago, wears this fragrance every single day to work for the past 15 years. The only other fragrance he wears is called Bleu de Chanel. Basically, you have a vanilla cinnamon fragrance here. One spray is plenty with this fragrance. If you spray three, well, there's a lovely powdery muskiness in it as well. If you spray three, you might choke people out. It's very strong. This is a perfect fragrance to only spray two shots. It's a perfect fragrance. For those of you with dry skin that say, oh, nothing lasts on me, this one will last on you. There is no need to get the older ver version of this. This bottle was $15. You can get a bigger bottles for $20 that are double this size. And there's another fragrance that Frankie wears called the Yoop deodorant. I put the link down below, which is a lighter version of this. The deodorant is a spray bottle. It looks like a watered down version. And the links are down below, Ray Meester. Next up, Rare Carbon. Now, Rare Carbon was told to me by a guy. He works at the Chrysler plant. He put six sprays on the first day he bought the fragrance, and he was the hit of the show. So you're talking about walking through an enormous, probably 50,000 square feet factory with huge 100 feet ceilings, and people can smell you in that environment with six sprays. That is an impressive fragrance. Rare Carbon is in Dubai. It's a leather fragrance, and it's an amazing fragrance. I get stories left and right. Even one guy was a rock and roll blues guitarist, and he played at a bar, and women were just coming up to him asking him what he was wearing. And if you are one of those women, he was wearing Rare Carbon. Next up, you have Halloween Man. Sorry, I cannot find my bottle of this. You know, this is the regular Halloween Man, not the X version. This came out in 2012, starts out with a martini, a gin note. It's like an apple martini with orange and cinnamon and sweet orange blossoms and things like that. And when it dries down, it smells similar to a lighter version of Paco Rabanne 1 million. This one, you won't choke anyone out like 1 million might. You could spray away on this probably good for four to six sprays without a problem. Depending on where you work, you can easily wear this to work. It's a very much mass appealing, safe $20 fragrance. The next one, isn't is called a man angel man terry mugler 1996 guess what came out in 96 curve did and so many other hall of fame fragrances, including this one basically a vanilla patchouli and even honey it's a caramel gourmand the performance even on this newer version of angel man is intense even back then i could barely spray it half a spray it was so strong oh i missed that thing it gave me headaches 17 people on a fragrance magazine thinks this smells like Rocha Man. Comment down below if you agree with them. It has cinnamol in it. Cinnamol is a compound found in the barks of a cinnamon tree. Of course, the order is sweet, apple-like, kind of herbaceous. It also has a coumarin in it. What is coumarin? Imagine a guy cutting the grass with a lawnmower and it's thick beautiful blue grass and that smell right after it's cut and the grass is all over the place it's almost a sweet green almondy vanilla smell next up is the hidden gem cheapy of the day and it is called sung per om you can find this for ten dollars at tj maxx fifteen dollars on the internet one viewer asked his mom to smell it and she said honey this smells like zest soap and he said mom what is zest soap i'm only 22 years old well, Zest Soap was like an 80s soap bar. People used to wear soap instead of shower gel back then. And it also smells like Irish Spring. And then 17 hundreds of people on a blog say it smells like Photo by Carl Lagerfeld, the out of distinct, the out of production rare gem by, by Carl Lagerfeld. I'm not sure I can agree with them. However, I do not personally like this. You see the purple juice color? But if you want something for $15, that's one spray that is not one dimensional. You will smell all the notes throughout its experience and its 10 hour journey. This will last. You will love this. That initial blast of a grenade aldehydic right at the beginning turns me off, overwhelms me and strikes me, a, giving me a headache. But if you want the shower gel spray of the 70s, get it. You might get negative feedback if you were to spray this more than three times. It's another powerful, cheap fragrance with notes like carnation and balsam and pine and oak moss and citruses. But the notes do play a nice symphony of songs and they come together slowly and 
This is good for hot weather too. It's called Alfred Sung Sungapur Om. Gives off a fresh, soapy, clean vibe after hours of its dry down. Next up, you have Aramis by Estee Lauder. Aramis reminds me of Darren from Bewitched, the modern 70s man. Cinnamon, sweet woods with an intensive floral, spicy, aromatic scent. And it also has a deep leather note. This is a powerhouse too, baby. One shot is all you need. Very, very masculine. Other notes in here include sage, jasmine, coconut, vetiver, and leather. There's leather in here. Longevity on Aramis is 12 hours. Can you see this bottle pretty good? Some titles that are similar scents to Aramis include fragrances like Boss and New West and Kuros and a similar scent, cheaper. Try Finding Horizon. It's five, ten dollars. It's similar in notes, so to speak. The next fragrance is a newer fragrance from 2015. It's right here. It's called Azaro Intense. It has Chinese cinnamon in it. What is Chinese cinnamon? Say that 17 times in a row. It's like a spiced cinnamon, sugar, amber, and tonka. See, the cinnamon in here is different than like cinnamon in Spice Bomb or something like that. It's it's more light and powdery where the cinnamon in this fragrance is more gourmand and deep. You also have similar notes to Issy Noir Ombre in here, but Issy has leather and saffron, but they share a lot of similar notes. This still has the bold Azaro DNA and it has 10 hours of longevity without a problem. It's very decadent and it's a true to its word of Azaro Por Om Intense. Like it's not another flanker, it's an intense version of it. Projects solid for two to three hours. The average lasting I got was seven hours on my skin, but people are claiming 10 hours. In my honest opinion, this is one of the best fragrances on the list. As the list continues, we are going from good to great. This is called a Zara Wanted. Now I have asked probably 60 or 70 people's opinion on this since it came out. Men and women both. So let's say I asked 50 of them. 44 or 45 of them say they were blown away at first sniff. It does have the, this is made by the guys who make chrome, just so you know, Azaro. It's got modern ingredients like ginger, lavender, mint, imported ingredients of bergamot from Guatemala and things like that. And bergamot oil. What does that do anyway? That citrus, almost slight orange note, it reduces anxiety. So right when you smell it, you're like, wow, I like this. Another thing that's good about this, you could wear it to work. And if you choose to wear a Zara want it to work, spray it twice maximum. But if you want to wear it all day and you work in places where have high ceilings and that, you can spray this four to six times will be sufficient. It's great for fall. It's great for all. And the projection is out of this world on Azara Wanted. If you didn't want Azara Wanted, you would get Azara Wanted by night, a softer, more quiet version of this. Again, the 45 people love this fragrance, including men and women. Now we're at the top three. Coach Platinum starts off the list. It's considered a fresh oriental fragrance that contains sandalwood and sage as some of the dominant notes on here. Compliments are off the chart on this fruity pineapple accord that it's on the top notes. And it finishes off with a lovely vanilla, minty, leathery, creamy note. Now this bottle is silver and mirrored. So if you don't keep it clean, you'll get fingerprints on it. Basically, it's very sweet and creamy with that light spiced juniper berry in here which coat should you buy i don't know i like the regular eau de toilette as first but let's see this one is more intense creamy vanilla do you like that then you will like this better the regular coach the, the notes are more well balanced and easier to wear so to speak but this both they're both clean safe safe blind buy as well they're crowd pleasers they're some of the safest blind to buy fragrance you can buy creamy grown-up version of this fragrance is what people say it's a little bit more mature than versace eros to give you an idea and remember this bottle gets a lot of marks on it when you put your fingers on it keep it clean to make the bottle look cool on your dresser projection on coach platinum is very good at three to four hours as well as longevity is outstanding over eight hours on this at first you get that blast of sage then 10 minutes later you get a beautiful vanilla leather fragrance inside here some people are thinking that even this coach platinum with its sweet note smells a little bit smoky with a hint of pineapple and it's very much again blind by worthy in different versatile situations wear a coat wear a hoodie or wear a suit you could pull off this coach platinum so easily it's warm and inviting and so many people like it and women women love 
the coach line period they also do make a brand new coach blue if you don't know if you want something really fresh that smells good next fragrance number two or number nine on the list top three is Basasi Havas, which is 12 hours, massive projection, great fruity bubble gum type fragrance, similar to Invictus. You can dress casual or mature with this fragrance. Teenagers can wear it, $60 average price. On the internet, I put a link down below. I found it for $55 on Amazon. It's got melon and violets and musk and amber and marine notes melt right into the woods with this fragrance. This is one of the number one compliment getters for many, many years now. And it's the, the next one on the list is the number one compliment getter ever made i will never stop recommending dior sauvage this is a hundred dollar fragrance but ladies absolutely love it it's organic it's got lots of naturals it does have lots of chemicals as well and nothing can come close to it but if you wanted to try something similar i would recommend similar scent cheaper called modest Un. this is the only one i found that comes close to the smell that comes close to the performance i even walked up to a lady and asked her which one of these do you like better? And I let her smell both and she couldn't tell them apart. Watch. Tell us which one of these you like better to smell. One of them's D. No, one of them is Dior and one of okay. Just, okay, that's number one. Okay. That's number two. They're the same. They're the same? Just, no, no, I just want to know which one do you like better? No, but right now you're saying they're the same. That's, that's true, but one of them is different. One's male and one's female. No, one's a different brand. One's less expensive than the other, so we're trying to see if it's comparable. If we could recommend a less cost I gotta tell you, I mean, that's what I smell. The so, same. so, okay, so that's good. You don't pick one or two, both of them are equal. That's good they for both us. Smell good. Okay, yeah, it's really thank good. You. Thank you so much. And now let's flip the camera over to you and you can tell me three of your titles of your best performing, longest lasting, best performing fragrances. Comment down below. Peace and love. I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thank you, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you.